Hello everybody, it's me Beverly. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys the um, flowers that I just made um, last night and then some this morning. Um, they're fabric flowers and primarily used, um, the three tools I used was a hot glue gun, scissors, and the Sizzix die, Tim Holtz Sizzix die. And um, so this is one of my favorite ones. I just made this this morning. It's like a satin peachy color uh, fabric and then um, lace on top of that and then I use these um, I don't even know what these are called but anyhow I glue that next and then the next two layers were the satin and the lace again and then I used one of my vintage buttons for this one and then on here is a teal fabric with the uh, purple uh, fabric on top of that and then lace and then the teal again, and then the two pearls. <laughs> Sorry, I have uh, allergies right now, so I'm sniffing through the video. And then this one, um, of course, black fabric, teal, and then the cute little thingies again. And then um, I had a small flower behind this um, vintage button, but then it, the vintage button was so big it covered it up, but that's all right. And then I also, this one was a uh, mixed paper. The paper is from the Kesara Sara line. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm sniffing again. And then um, fabrics and then Prima Flower at the very top and then the bling. And um, this one. And a smaller one. And so um, I thought I'd just share with you guys um, how, the things that I've made today or last night. Um, so in love with them right now. Most of them, are so, actually all of them, pretty much are supported with just a black chipboard on the back. So it's easier to just glue onto something when I'm ready to apply it. But these are the colors that I chose and I think I'll be making more. And I'll go ahead and put a tutorial up as soon as uh, I figure out a time to go ahead and make a video on how I made these. But I hope you enjoy them just as much as I do. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.